On this slide, we talk about two very important exact sequences. So the first sequence we talk about is exact sequence of a hypersurface. So this hypersurface is defined by a polynomial f, and we are talking about projective space. So polynomial f, which is homogeneous of degree d. So f is a homogeneous polynomial of degree d. f is non-zero and has no multiple factors. So this no multiple factors is important because then we can avoid taking radical ideal. So first of all, we need to define the hypersurface. The hypersurface is x, which is nothing but the vanishing set of this homogeneous polynomial. And then we talk about obviously the ideal. So the ideal is just this uh, polynomial f, obviously because it has no multiple factors by null Stellenzarts. Now multiplication by f. So you multiply f that induces an isomorphism from the graded ring to the ideal yeah obviously when you multiply by f to the entire ring you multiply by f that is the definition of the ideal and since we are in projective space we are talking about graded ideals so just by the definition of ideal you are taking f and you are multiplying all the elements of the ring by it what you get is the ideal so this is an isomorphism so this will induce this uh, sequence of uh, sheaves. So you have this OP and minus D, which will be the kernel sheaf. You multiply it by F, which is of degree D. So minus D and then times D, you end up in OPN. That is fractions F by G. And uh, degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator in OPN. And then we have this OX which corresponds to inclusion of x into pn. Again, notice that this is a line bundle here. Yep, very important sequence, but very easy to construct. So the second sequence is exact sequence of a complete intersection. So now we will have two polynomials, again homogeneous. We are working in projective space so we will work with graded rings and these two polynomials will have no factors in common so let us write this down so you have polynomial f say of degree s and you have polynomial g of degree t and we have f and g have no common factors Okay, so first you set out the ideal. So ideal is f comma g, and this will give us an exact sequence of graded R modules. So we have these graded R modules a sequence. So obviously, start with zero then r minus s minus t say there is a map phi and we will just describe this how we will get this thing and then you end up in the ideal generated by f and g f and g have no common factors so you have map phi and bar phi start with c so this is how we define phi you get minus cg and cf notice that degree of g is t so minus cg means degree of c is minus s minus t plus t you get minus s degree of f is s then s added to minus s minus t you get minus t yeah minus s minus t plus s will give you minus t now var phi you just take map a and b take af and bg yeah again uh, degree of f is s so and a lies in minus s so you get minus s plus s 0 similarly bg b is minus t and g is degree t so you add t to it so you get 0 there also so first thing notice that 
this var phi is on to why is it so because uh, the ideal f comma g is of the form these are the elements which are there in af plus bg yeah so that is a definition of ideal generated by two elements f and g the elements are of the form af comma bg where a and b come from the graded ring again notice that af has degree 0 bg also has degree 0 so clearly i is uh, Uh, I is the ideal, yeah. So show kernel of now we have to show the kernel of phi, kernel of var phi is equal to image of phi. So we have to show AF plus BG is zero or AF is equal to minus BG. Now this you can show you can see F does not divide G. We have started with the premise that F and G do not have any common factor. So F has to divide B. So we can say B is equal to some something like CF. Yeah, so B is CF and I just substituted there. F cancels out, we get A equals to minus CG. Now notice that B equals to CF here. This is what the image of the map was. Minus CG, minus CG. So we have the kernel of var phi is equal to image of phi. Number three, you can see that uh, phi is injective. That just follows from the fact that R is integral domain. Yeah, so R is integral domain. We are working in a graded ring and it will just inject itself. Yeah, none of the elements are going to go to uh, non-zero elements are not going to get mapped to zero. So now you convert the graded rings into the uh, sheaves on projective space. Yeah, so precisely the same map what we had in graded rings. And this is called this uh, hypersurface, which is common zeros of F and G is called the scheme theoretic intersection. So hypersurface which has zeros of f and g is scheme, scheme theoretic intersection.